Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, <clears throat> I'm back east. I'm visiting my mom. And I have books and reading on the mind. Number one, because my mom taught me how to read. She Not only was she my mom, but she was a, a first grade teacher where literally it was her job to teach people how to read. And so even at a very, very young age, she she's so creative and she would um, put little index cards around the house <laughs> labeling things. <laughs> so like, I don't even know, I, I was young, but I remember I would like, I mean, I was before I knew how to read, I would like open my drawer to get dressed and there would be this green card and it would in very neat handwriting. Um, I'd look at it and I'd go, s, a, k, s, socks, 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 <laughs> I read. So anyway, best mom ever, best first grade teacher ever. In fact, one of her first grade teachers is like 40 years old now and still like reaches out and talks to her daily. My mom sends things to his kids and anyway. Um, so that's one of the reasons reading's on my mind, and also because I've had all these book clubs recently. I don't know how it happened, but I started just joining lots of different groups who were reading different books, and either reading a book that I wanted to read or people that I wanted to hang out with, and so, and most of the time it's both, but, um, I'm reading, in two of my book groups, I'm reading, uh, Priest Daddy by Patricia Lockwood. Uh, it's a memoir. I love that genre. Um, I aspire to that genre. Um, and I also aspire to Patricia Lockwood's uh, incredible <laughs> and entertaining irreverence. Man, I, um, I love how I love, I love her voice. Um, and uh, I'm reading Cast with my college roommate who lives in Colorado and her Baha'i faith group, mostly the people in that um, group are with that group, but how cool that I get to be in a book club with them just because we're in a pandemic and they're doing it on Zoom. So that's been a very, very important book. I imagine many of you have heard about it and I encourage everybody to pick it up. Um, race is not just the skin that we see, it is the bones beneath. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, I've been in a very long-standing book club with uh, a phenomenal group of women. It's the book club that actually inspired me to press record for the very first time and launch a YouTube station. Um, we've been over five, seven, I don't even remember how many years reading um, Brene Brown and books of that ilk. Um, we've been slowly working our way through uh, Dare to Lead, and I say slowly because it doesn't take more than a couple lines before we're then just talking amongst ourselves, which I is the point of these books anyway. So, um, And then I have a really good friend. I've known her for a long time. Um, my first job out of college was at UC Santa Cruz, and um, I was a campus organizer for a group called CalPerg. And she was one of the student leaders, and um, we met there, and then we kind of kept in touch. But then, like, 15 years later or something, we r ran into each other literally at a coffee shop in both of our own hometowns. And we're like, wait, you live here? Did you just walk here? I walked here, too. That means we live near each other in walking distance. So we've picked up on a, on a long friendship and have a book duo, and we're reading Book of Joy. Um, by the Archbishop, Archbishop Desmond Tutu and um, the Dalai Lama. And that book has been really informative, not informative, um, connecting for my mom. Um, right after my dad died, it was one of the first books that she was reading and said that it really helped her, you know, see, uh, see around that big boulder of grief to all the space um, that is joy and where in our lives we actually can choose joy. I'm reading it too with um, my friend Freya. And um, yeah, so that's that. I think those are all the books I'm reading right now. 
Um, yeah. I also wanted to, I can't talk about books without mentioning my um, other longtime friend, Tom, who has been um, a real regular Sunday morning, what feels realer, and has been watching these um, videos pretty regularly. Um, Tom, I see you, and uh, I love how you love books. You are such a voracious reader. You, all of the books on your shelf, I feel like are not just books on a shelf, they're like friends. I, in fact, my friend Lisa told me that about you, your wife. Um, and I just love that. I love that you see books as friends. They're friends who you've met all along the way in your life and you keep them with you. So anyway, yay for books, yay for reading, yay for all the people in our life who um, help us enjoy reading and inspire us through reading. So today's meditation will not be anything about reading or books. I just um, felt inspired to share all that. So let's shift gears and just go inside and make space for whatever's there. Okay, so... Inviting you now to close the eyes and make whatever adjustments to make your body feel comfortable, awake and alert. Beginning to tune in to what it feels like to be in your breath, know that you're breathing. Waking up to whatever physical sensations are alive and talking to you this morning. The many, many, many layers of physical sensations. And recognizing that these feelings in our body are often trailheads to feelings of the heart, thoughts in the mind. And so just widening the scope now to take in whatever else is present for you. Allowing the breath to be present with this exploration. Allowing the breath to physically make space for whatever's there. Expanding with each inhale, softening with each exhale. Noticing if there's any other place in the body now that might be able to let go just a little more.
And if and when you notice that you've gotten lost in thought, just inviting yourself to gently come back to the breath. Riding the breath, resting in awareness. Taking a final moment final breaths and coming back when you're ready. Thank you for joining me. Happy reading.